The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says it may respond to the issues raised by the BIOS State's Governorship Election Petition Tribunal when it is availed of the full judgment of the case. INEC National Commissioner and Chairman, Information and Voter Education Committee, Festus Okoye, stated this in an interview on Monday in Abuja. The commission was reacting to the nullification of the state's governorship election, which produced Oyediri. Okoye, however, noted that the advanced Nigeria Democratic Party nomination for the election was invalid, while the party did not exercise its rights guaranteed in the fourth alteration to the constitution by filing its suit within 14 days of the accrual of the said right. Okoye recalled that the ANDP was one of the political parties that signified its intention to contest the November 16, 2019 Bayelsa governorship polls. According to him, the party conducted primaries and submitted the name of one Peter David as its deputy governorship candidate. And joining us now is a legal practitioner, Obi Ajabo. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, the tribunal threw out the petition of other parties, but upheld the uh, advanced Nigeria Party's petition. What's the legal premise for this? Sorry, could you say that again? We see that the tribunal threw out the petition. Yes. Other parties filed petitions. The tribunal threw those out, but that petition by the advanced Nigeria uh, party was upheld. So what's to find out the legal premise for this? There, 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 are, there are three different petitions. The other petitions we are talking about, the, whether the deputy governor's credentials were forged or not. But this one was uh, was based on the modality of um, the of 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 arranging the, the election. Okay. So, with that clarification, we want to ask uh, uh, and the Supreme Court. How about the appeal? What will the governor's legal team do at this time? Sorry, could you take that again? I need it from. Me. We're asking if there's going to be an appeal at the Supreme Court and what the governor's legal team would do now. The Supreme Court, they have to, uh, the, the, the decision of the Supreme Court is, is at variance with this. And I'm surprised that this one is coming up now because they are statute bad. It's the, the law says 180 days by which all ele election tribunal matters have been stopped. So I don't know where this, where this uh, results are coming from and where this election the results are coming from. And I don't know how far it's going to go because the constitution stipulates the time within which election petitions are, are going to be answered. Hmm. Now, then again, we see that our elections and uh, barrage of litigations, where we see elections being upturned, can't the legal process in Nigeria or election process in Nigeria be largely credible or our laws are not uh, unambiguous enough? Well, we must understand it's very easy to criticize the system, but you know we are in an evolving system. We just, we, we've done barely 20 years in democracy, so we are learning. And these are things that when next, when next we have elections, the stakeholders will sit back and see how it is done. But whether the elections are credible, yes, the elections are credible, the results are credible, and we must work on what we have. Hmm. Okay, just one more question before I let you go. How, how prepared do you think INEC is or could be, uh, given the short frame of time, 90 days they've been given to prepare for another election? Sorry, can you say that again? We see that the, the, they've now been given 90 days to conduct fresh elections. How prepared do you think mm -hmm. INEC is to, to handle this, a new elections in that time frame? Um, the INEC, INEC is as ready as they can be bearing the bearing the factors we have. First of all, we have a multi-party system. This is so this is so horrendous to to, do, to handle. And then we have our peculiar problems as Nigerians. But INEC would INEC is trying their best and I, and I hope they they do better than what they are doing now. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you very much for uh, coming on the news today. Thank you for having me.